your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times, and I'm back with another episode of Hood Tales. In this video, I'll be taking it to Troop County, Georgia, to discuss a 17-year-old cold case that resulted in a woman being charged with concealing the passing of her friend and then assuming her identity for several years. But before we get into this video, I'd like to say thank you to all of our supporters. We appreciate you and we hope you all stick around. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, you can find the information on the screen. And to support us for absolutely no cost, please hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and join the Tony Two Times family. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Also, if you'd like to see more episodes of Hood Tales, please click the link to the playlist in the description box after this video to get caught up. And be sure to share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned until the end to hear all the details. All right, let's get into it. Thursday, December 6, 2007 in West Georgia, the Troop County Sheriff's Office were called to the intersection of Whitfield and Stitcher for a report of a suspicious burning bag on the side of the road. When deputies arrived, they discovered a black bag smoldering, and inside that bag was what appeared to be the remains of a person that had been dumped at the location. Even more disturbing, the remains were partial. The hands, feet, and head were not with the body. The remains were then sent to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation's crime lab. The lab could only determine that the remains were that of a black woman and the cause of her life ending was homicide. An extensive investigation was conducted, but eventually the case went cold. There were no leads for almost two decades. Then in the beginning of 2023, the Sheriff's Office once again reviewed the case. They decided to send evidence in the case, including DNA, to innovative forensic investigations, a Virginia-based genealogical investigative firm, and a lab in Houston, Texas called Gene by Gene for DNA analysis and genetic genealogy forensics. After some time, the results were sent to the GBI crime lab for comparison. On Wednesday, December 13, 2023, 16 years after the remains were found, the Troop County Sheriff's Office learned that a positive DNA match was made. According to the Sheriff's Office, the person was identified as 24-year-old Nicole Alston whose last known residence was Manhattan, New York. No photo of Nicole has been released. The Sheriff's Office said their investigators confirmed with Nicole's family that she had moved to the Atlanta area in July 2006, and her family hadn't heard from her shortly after she moved. The investigation into Nicole's case continued since she had finally been identified. The investigation soon unraveled an unsettling detail in the case that would leave more questions than answers about how Nicole was slain and who would have taken her life. In August 2024, investigators learned that Nicole moved to the Atlanta area in July 2006 with a friend a woman named Angel Marie Thompson. Nicole disappeared sometime after Thanksgiving 2007 when her family last spoke to her. Nicole's remains were found on December 6, 2007, two weeks after speaking with family. Investigators also learned that Angel was wanted in New York for theft and identity fraud and was on the run when she and Nicole moved to Atlanta. What Angel is accused of doing after Nicole went missing is unbelievable to say the least. 
According to investigators, Angel Thompson used Nicole Alston's identity for years after her body was found. From 2007 to 2015, Angel collected Nicole's social security benefits, food stamps, and Section 8 housing. The fraud totaled $200,000. It came to an end in 2015 after Angel was contacted by the Social Security Administration to physically come in for benefit requalification. She then reverted back to using her real name. Angel was arrested on August 19, 2024 and charged with concealing Nicole Austin's loss of life. The fraud is being investigated by additional agencies in Georgia. According to the Troop County Sheriff's Office, at this time, it has not been determined who actually slain Nicole and the investigation continues. Investigators don't believe that Nicole's slaying took place at the location where her remains were found. Instead, it was the location where her body was sadly disposed of. Angel Marie Thompson is innocent until proven guilty. Wow fam, what a crazy story with so many unanswered questions. First, may Nicole Alston rest in peace. I can't believe so many years went by without anyone knowing that she was gone forever. I didn't find anything about her being reported missing after she disappeared in 2007. I wonder if anyone was even looking for her or wondering what happened to her. It's like she had been forgotten until now. And for her so-called friend to then assume her identity and collect her government benefits for eight years is mind-blowing. That's almost a decade. It's very unsettling that Angel was able to do that without being caught. In my opinion, she had to know that Nicole was gone and not coming back in order for her to feel so comfortable using her identity for eight years. The question is, does she know what happened to Nicole? How did she know Nicole was gone and to move forward with assuming her identity if these allegations are true? Was she pretending to be Nicole in other aspects of life in addition to the identity fraud? Fam, tell me your thoughts on this crazy story. Do you have any thoughts on what may have happened to Nicole? What do you think of Angel and her actions after her friend disappeared? Let me know in the comments below. As I said before, there are still so many unanswered questions in this case. I hope Nicole gets justice and her life and story gets the recognition it deserves. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of Hood Tales. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times. Until next time. Mm -hmm.